With a lot of people getting a taste of what the Destiny 2 meta is going to be by the Destiny 2 beta, a lot of people are kind of wondering what's going to be good, what's going to be bad. And so today we're going to be using Destiny 2 meta as well as kind of some things that in Destiny 1 that are good and that are bad to find out what Bungie's going to do for the first Destiny 2 meta, or at least kind of in the first half of year one of Destiny 2. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So in the background, I have some gameplay with a scout rifle and I just going all all range, which in the map for Destiny 2 is wasn't really possible for the control one. It was a really close quarters map and auto rifles worked really, really well. And so I think that's a pretty good kind of that's a good clue at what things are going to be like. I saw a comment once that said, like, they're going to be like exactly how how Bungie originally wanted Destiny 1 to be. Auto rifles are going to be for close range and close range only, like in the Destiny 2 map. And pulse rifles are going to be from close to medium, or sorry, the uh, hand cans are going to be from close to medium range. And pulse rifles are from medium to long range. And then finally we have scout rifles, which are specifically long range. I think that is going to be the goal for Destiny 2. That is definitely what they wanted to do. However, I do think that they, I'm very, very certain that in Destiny 1, they were really trying to do that as well, and they simply couldn't. There was always a good meta, there was always one gun that was better than the other, even though it was in closer random range. Like, there was always one pulse rifle that did better in close range than an auto rifle. And so, that is kind of the problem. That might be what they're going to try and fix. And so, in my opinion, auto rifles were very quite good. I asked a lot of my friends and a lot of people that played the Destiny 2 meta, or beta, and they, they really agreed that auto rifles were probably one of the best things in the game, especially that really fast firing one that you had in your secondary slot. That was probably one of the best guns you could get in the meta, and yeah, like I said, a lot of people really liked it. So, to contrary to Destiny 1, the auto rifles weren't that strong in Destiny 1 apart from in the beginning of Destiny 1. And so I think they're kind of trying to change it around. They're trying to make auto rifles, again, a viable choice. And I think they did a pretty good job about that. Hopefully they don't make it, like, overpowered and that becomes the meta. But I do think that auto rifles in Destiny 2 will definitely be a very strong choice. And so and then we move on to pulse rifles. I personally didn't really like the pulse rifles in Destiny in the beta. But honestly, a lot of people said, and again, I asked a lot of people saying that they really did like the pulse rifles especially for that long they actually liked it for both maps so that's a pretty good indication that since the competitive map was a bit longer range and then the control map was a bit shorter range i think pulse rifles are also going to be a very good choice to are also going to be a very good choice to kind of have a bunch of maps they're going to be kind of in the middle i guess which is a very good thing because that's pretty much what pulse rifles want to do they're kind of in the middle of everything However, in Destiny 1, Pulse Rifles could do a lot of things. They were a really, really good viable choice throughout the entirety of Destiny. They always were good in, in the meta. They could always counter something, they could always be beat at something, and at some point, especially in Year 2, they were the complete and utter meta. And so, then we get on to my personal favorite, I think something that's probably going to be the most interesting, is how they deal with hand cannons. Hand cannons, as a lot of people know, are probably the strongest thing that happened in Destiny 1 because of Thorn, The Last Word, Aes Luna, Palindrome. They were definitely probably the strongest thing that we had in Destiny 1. And so I really do think they're going to try to kind of nerf it a little bit, but I still do think they're going to try to keep it as a very viable thing. Not many people like the, the hand cannons in Destiny or in the beta, so I honestly don't really know what they're going to be doing with it. But... In my opinion, if they really do want to make it a viable choice, they really have to focus on kind of having it from close to medium range. They can't have it like in Destiny 1 where they were really good for long range and even or in medium range and even long range. And so finally, we have the scout rifles. Now there was not, there wasn't really many scout rifles that were godly apart from Mita in Destiny 1. So I do think that they might buff scout rifles just a tiny bit because honestly they're in a very good position as i was using this in uh, in the gameplay as you see i was it was pretty good i this is a close range map and i know that except for that middle part and i was trying to use this in close range and i i just generally couldn't and i think that's pretty good however it would really counter snipers in long range and that's what it's built for i do think scout rifles are probably kind of the most the most like they're probably in the best position they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do and yeah that's pretty much it and so 
That's all. Those are all the four things. I really don't know about shotguns or snipers. We kind of need to more, get more insight into that because they were kind of power weapons and we really didn't see many people using it, especially in the close range map or the long range map. But either way, I don't... I'm really interested to see, like I said, the hand cannons as well as pulse rifles and the auto rifles and scout rifles. I think they're going to be really kind of, especially auto rifles, giving a bit of a boost. So yeah, that is kind of my prediction for the Destiny 2 meta. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. And please tell me what you guys think in the comments so that I can kind of adjust and maybe make an update video one day.